I lost my memory that day, along with my family. When I woke up in the hospital, the doctor told me that we'd been involved in an accident. My father and sister died, trapped in a blaze of burning crimson. If I try and remember anything else, it's terrifying.
Hey, where have you been? <sighs> There's work to do, Master. You've got a customer waiting. Yeah? A customer? Really? <laughs> Welcome to Garland's Detective Agency. I'm the boss, Johnny Garland. Yes, how do you do? My name is Gilbert, and I'm a teaching professor from a well-known university in Boston. Sit down. I was told by a reliable source that this is the place to come if you happen to be looking to find someone. You're looking for someone? Yes, this man. I've heard rumors that someone who looks very much like him has been seen around Manhattan recently. Marlowe Brown. He's a man facing charges on at least eight counts of attempted murder, disorderly conduct, etc., etc. He was released on parole three days ago, and right off the bat, escaped without paying any bail money. My god, he sounds like trouble. I don't get it. What do you want a guy like that for anyway, huh? <laughs> Let's just say we have a business relationship. He got out on bail, as you know, but I am his bond guarantor. You see, if I don't find him, and fast, I'm going to be stuck with coming up with every cent of his bail money. Mm. I got it. I'll help you. You'll see. He's as good as in your hands. <laughs> Are you sure? Accepting such a dangerous case like that? What are you talking about? We just got our first real case, you know. Until now, all of our jobs have been things like sweeping factory chimneys and searching for runaway cats. Nothing interesting at all. Master, think about it. Don't you think it's time to quit this? It's already been a year since you left the house and opened the agency. How's your father's business gonna succeed without you to run it? Not that again. I told you I don't want to work there anymore. If you miss it so much, why don't you go back by yourself? What are you saying? On that day, I swore I would serve you for the rest of my life. You and I are one heart, one body. I can't imagine working anywhere without you, my master. Okay, whatever. Anyway, for starters, I'm gonna ask some questions. Take care of things while I'm gone. Hey, wait a minute! At least let me... come with you. I sure hope young Master's going to be alright out there on his own.